Next Monday on Granada, watch through the keyhole classic quiz and you could win a fabulous holiday to Hong Kong. Lloyd Grossman will show you five of the most fascinating homes that have featured on Through the Keyhole, while Sir David Frost meets the owners. But can you match the celebrity with the home? Join in the fun with Lloyd Grossman and Sir David Frost in Through the Keyhole Classic Quiz, next Monday at 7 on Granada. Hello, through your TV tonight comes the baldy man who tries his hand at keep fit in a health club. Got to help him. 8.30. The last of our chiller plays at nine concerns a child killer who has struck five times in the same Yorkshire town. Yorkshire, that sounds familiar. It's Thursday. Yes, must be this programme. <laughs> Right. Oh, I hope it's not going to be a regular occurrence. Poor Rachel was really shaken up. Was she all right when you phoned? Fine. She was more worried about us. Mm. I suppose even Emmerdale's got its vandals. That's all it is. Oh, cheer up, birthday girl. You'll be wanting to cancel the housewarming next. Aye, aye. <laughs> you had your first tip, have you? Who cobbed what or two? It don't look good, you know, broken window. That's why we're having it repaired. <laughs> well could with the straw that broke the camel's back. I mean, once one property goes down the neck, the rest fall off. That's why we're employing you, Betty, to make sure everything's spick and span. It's our ambition to grace the cover of Yorkshire life. <laughs> <laughs> I can only do so much, you know. <laughs> Try. Bye. Bye. You're not really bothered about what people will think about us, are you? It'll be the best housewarming the villagers see. Did Tina say anything about last night? Don't tell me. I don't want to hear about it. There was nothing to hear about it. Oh, well, that's OK, then. Only, uh, I didn't want you to get the wrong end of the stick. What stick's that, then? Well, we were sorting out cassettes, me and Tina. So? And she wasn't wearing much. <laughs> I thought you were a mate. Look, listen, nothing went on. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I know. What? <laughs> Tina told me. You rock. Hey, I could murder a copper. <laughs> Allow me. <sighs> you were well away when I went out milking. The first night that I've slept through. How about you? You're fine. Ned's been great, hasn't he? Yeah. And Jan. We've been lucky. I wouldn't put it quite as strong as that. Morning, lazy bones. Want some breakfast, Robert? Derek's hopped up forever, isn't he? Of course not, son. He's a para. He can climb cliffs. Anything. He'll get out of prison. Easy peasy. They'll try to help him in there. He doesn't need help. We all do. Some time or another. Derek doesn't. I want to go see him. I don't think that's a good idea, son. What do you know? <sighs> Morning, sis. Hey, Jess, we were having a right laugh before about me and Biff in the living room. Luke really wound Biff up, didn't you? Do you really think I'm that stupid? What are you going on about? <sighs> I know what you're doing, Tina. Even if Tarzan there doesn't. Don't forget your drink. He knows where he belongs. Robert's going to be all right. I'm sure he's still in some kind of trauma. Maybe he needs help. Professional help. No, no outsider's going to change the fact that he thinks I'm not much cop as a dad. 
You shouldn't think like that. Maybe he's right. I've been so wrapped up in our problems. You know, I'm not the greatest talker at the best of times. The way he looked at me. I don't think Robert's decided anything. He's just a nine-year-old boy who's hero-worshipping some Rambo character. Yeah, but Derek Simpson isn't a film star. He's not the latest craze. He chose to stay with him, Sarah. He chose to stay with a complete stranger rather than come back to me. Us? If Derek Simpson gets a long stretch inside, I don't know how Robert will react. Maybe we should talk to Inspector Farrow. I don't know how these things work, but... Perhaps they could prefer lesser charges or something. I could try. If I tell him that punishing Simpson will be punishing Robert. And us. Don't drop him. It's all right, all right. No, I've had enough broken glass for one day. Some yacht put our window in. There you are. Two dozen. That'd be enough for you? I should think so, with what we've got already. You are coming to the party, aren't you? Oh, yeah. No, well, it's not quite that simple when you've got kids, you know what I mean? Well, you're certainly very welcome anyway. Oh, look what the cat's dragged in. Didn't know you were back, Mr Pollard. <laughs> Pint of milk, please. What you been up to then, Eric? Just been away, on business. Oh, yeah, cool. I'll get the door, Emma. Yeah. Oh, I, I am sorry. Allow me. Thank you. I don't think we've met. Emma Nightingale. I've just moved into the village. Sorry I can't shake hands. Hello, Eric, Eric Pollard. Actually, we've met before. When I first came to Emmerdale, we were both having a spot of car trouble at the time. Ah, yes. <laughs> both victims of the Tate family's sense of fun, eh? <laughs> you must come to my housewarming tonight. Oh. Well, thank you. I'd love to. Around seven-ish. Thank you. What an attractive young lady. <laughs> You've got no chance there, Eric. <laughs> When I came back from Scarborough, I decided I wasn't going to hide away. And I'm certainly not turning down Zoe's invite. Good for you. <laughs> Can I have a word? Sure. Uh, I'll get a blanket on Valentine. Thanks, Kathy. You all right? I am. But Chris isn't. What's wrong with him now? He thinks you might be undermining his position. I beg your pardon. Don't get irritated. But what exactly has he been saying? He wants you to know why you're seeing Rachel. I had a drink with her, for heaven's sake. And that's all there was to it. She's carrying your grandchild, Frank. She's as good as family. Aren't I allowed to do anything around here? All right, you seem to have taken over the reins of the business. Have I complained? But I do think it's the limit when I'm told who I can and cannot socialise with. I told him he was overreacting. Yeah. I'm telling you, your son should show more concern for other people and less with exacting revenge. He's hurting both Cathy and Rachel. Oh, Jack. I'm sorry to trouble you. I know you're busy. Take a pew. Robert, come up with anything else yet? No. No, not really. Simpson's still singing the same old tune. So reckons it's some sort of cosy little boy's own adventure. No, that's what I wanted to talk to you about, really. Well, you've nothing to worry about. We've got him where he belongs. And we're spending quite a lot of time there if I've got hope to do with it. I don't think that'll do any good, from Robert's point of view. Well, we're not going to let him walk, are we? He abducted the lad, your son. Just think back to what you went through. I'm trying not to think back. We want to get on with our lives. Sarah and me think that the longer it drags on, the worse it's going to be. For Robert and us. I mean, there's no chance of him testifying against Simpson. You don't know what threat Simpson made to him. That type can say all kinds of things. It can take years, if ever, before abused kids say what really happened to him. Look, I'm sure that nothing like that happened. I'm not saying Robert's not been affected, but it's something that courts and prison sentences aren't going to alter. Well, that's one thing neither you nor I can decide right now, Jack. There's due process. Justice has got to take its course. Cheers. Are you sure you aren't having a sandwich? No, we ain't got time. It's all right, slave driver is Frank Tate. Well, you should eat, big lads like you. Keep your strength up. You never know when you might need it. Cheers. How do you mean? Well, if you don't know, I'm not telling you. Well, let them have their pints in peace. I like athletic young lads. Yeah. I married one once. I don't know what happened to him. 
Hi, yeah. Hey, how do you manage it? Looking that gorgeous at any time of day. Of course, you've got youth on your side. Still, have you ever fancied a change from the schoolboy? Can we order drinks, please? <laughs> hey, you're not letting him loose behind the bar again, are you? Serve the customers, Terrence. That's what I need, you know. An older woman like her. You love her. Oh, I'm forgetting. You've already got one. So how's it going with you and Cathy? It's not. I think I've blown it. Oh, never mind, there's plenty more fish. Don't say it. Sorry. I don't know. I wanted a serious relationship. I take her to a restaurant, acting all cool, the works. As soon as she says something I don't want to hear, I blow it. I walk out like a big soft kid. So you're still keen, then? Yeah, what do you think? Well, I think you should go and apologise to her. Oh, as simple as that. Yeah, just say you're sorry. You look happy, Dave. He's got woman trouble. Oh, next time I want a quiet word, I'll go on Opera Winfrey. Sorry. <laughs> Hiya, Biff. Hiya. Do you want a drink? Yeah, that'd be great. Cheers. Why are you wearing that? What? The coat. I borrowed it. Luke said it'd be all right. Yes, well, Luke doesn't say, I say. It's mine. <coughs> Sorry, Jess, do you want it back? No, not now you've had your filthy paws on it. Take it easy, Jess. You will never touch anything of mine again. You're finished. I want you out of my life, do you understand? We got good fellas American style pizza. The decentest, honestest I think there is. Right, Frankie? Mmm. You want deep pan? Fine. With a light and crispy base? Dandy. You like pepperoni? Bada bing. Mmm. You got juicy tomatoes. 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 Herbs even. Right, kid? Go on. Say cheese. Now shoot. Out of my restaurant. Good fellas American style pizza. Now available in your area. From stores with ice compartments. The Jaffa Cake. Light crisp sponge, dark chocolate and that smashing orangey bit. In the middle. Yes, in the middle. So, how can you improve on perfection? Search me. Make them smaller. Smaller? Yes. <laughs> and put them in... Put them in... ...their own little lunchbox to keep them nice and fresh. To go into mine. To go into his. You have to go a long, long way to find a better Jaffa Cake. If you want beautiful hair, there's Organics. The only shampoo with glucosyl, a natural nutrient which nourishes your hair's living roots. The results are a revelation. Your hair shines with health and beauty. Organics from the Elida Hair Institute. Healthy looking from the root, beautiful to the tip. We run a very fair house here on Sundays. Mum sticks the lunch on, Dad sleeps it off. And I recycle the dishes. God, see the grease on that? Looks like Dad's used it for an oil change. Mind you, when it comes to knocking grease on the head, this fairy liquid's a serious piece of kit. It's kind to your hands, Mum says, and it cleans right through to the squeak. No messing. <coughs> here you go. Perfect results every time. Let us know if you need a hand, son. Fairy cuts <laughs> grease to the squeak. The DFS Easter time giveaway has broken all records. So, to say thank you, and for the first time ever, the offer has been extended until Sunday. With 40% off special offers, we've sold more furniture and served more customers than ever before in our 25-year history. Plus, you choose anything in store, pay not one penny till November, and then take four years free credit. DFS give you this final chance. The offer ends Sunday, 5 p.m. Do 
Nina said she's sorry about the coat. Oh, what's the matter, Jess? What do you care? Of course I do. Yeah, about her, that's all. But she only borrowed your coat. I said you wouldn't mind. She's destroying our family, Luke. Oh, what's up with you, Jess? You seem hell-bent on blowing everything into a major row. That's right. Blame me. I'm not blaming you. I want us all to get along. I mean, we could be having a really great time now. Oh, yeah, fantastic. Then why did you come back? You want me to go back to London, don't you? No, of course not. Oh, Luke, she's got you wrapped round her little finger. You're just too stupid to see it. Well, you needn't think I'm going to walk away and let her get on with it. Hiya. Hi. I've uh, put some feed down. You left some the other day. Can we talk? Thought you'd forgotten how. I know. I'm sorry about the other night. I acted like a total wally. Yeah, that's how I felt when you left me in the restroom. No, oh, it was a pathetic thing to do. Look, Dave, I've not been stringing you along. The other night, I was just being straight with you. I mean, friends should be able to do that, shouldn't they? Yeah. I'm not going to get in a situation again where I'm deceiving someone or myself. I sound really together, don't I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're still friends, then? Yeah. Hey, do you fancy coming to Zoe's party with me tonight? I mean, say if you don't want to. Sure. I just wondered. Yes! No heavy scenes, though. I promise. Treat you just like one at Lads. Thanks. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Rachel's brought us this. Oh, thank you. That's lovely. I did wonder about bringing a tub of putty and some glass. <laughs> no, we're all reglazed and ready to party. Not quite ready. <laughs> oh, just my help. No, of course not. We've got loads of time yet. <sighs> Listen to Ms. Laid back. Is Chris coming? No, I doubt it. Things are a bit tricky at the moment. Oh, just ignore him if he's got the moodies. Mm, it's a bit more complicated than that. He's become obsessed with this row with Cathy over the settlement. I'm a bit of a side issue. Can't you do that upstairs? Oh, you're in a good mood. Well, I'm trying to watch television. Well, you can watch him peace all evening. I'm off to your sister's housewarming. How do you know I'm not going? Are you? Dunno. I knew you weren't. Uh, I could always tell when you were set for a brooding, sulky night in. Maybe I'd cause. Of course, you've got such a great understanding about men. Oh, well, I better get ready. Oh, um, someone's calling to collect me. Can you let him in if he arrives before I'm down? Hello? Is that Mrs. Dingle? Yeah, hello. Um, look, my name's Sharon. I'm a mate to Tina's from school. I, uh, just thought you ought to know who she's been stopping with for the last few days. Luke McAllister. What's up? Oh, Sam's not done a runner, has he? Oh, it's worse than that. Well, spit it out, then. It's our Tina. She's not had an accident. She's let us down. Well, they've all done that. Not like this. Well, tell us, then. Well, I don't want you flying off the handle. I will if you don't tell us. She's shacking up with the McAllister lad. <laughs> Talk daft. Who said that? One of her schoolmates. I knew that silly little coward up to summit. Don't you talk about my little angel like that. She's the apple of my eye, that girl. Oh, and it looks like she's the apple of Luke McAllister's eye and all, doesn't it? Never, never. I'll break his back if he's so much as... I told you not to get worked up. Go and find out what's going on. I'll do him. And her. You'll do no one. One inkling's bad enough. If she's with him, you bring her back here. I'll sort this out. All right, come in. Oh. Thought I might have missed you. I'm just going out. Here you are. Lovely. Cheers. Ooh, looks like you can do it. I don't know if the party's a good idea. It's rather a big statement that you and I are together. Well, we are, aren't we? Yes. So what's wrong with asking a few friends and neighbours round for drinks with us, then? Nothing, in theory. 
Look, some clown lobbing a brick through the window shouldn't spoil things. Oh, it's not that. Well, maybe it started me thinking. Yeah, nor should the odd bigot. No, and... I know we talked about setting up in the village and anticipating some reaction, but this is it. We're doing it, and the party's a big public statement, and I suppose I'm worried about how it might affect me professionally. A lot of my clients are hardly libertarian. You shouldn't underestimate people. I'm not. Do you really want to cancel the party? No. Help. Guess. I'm not interested in the money. All this financial wheeling and dealing. It leaves me cold. I'm doing it for you. You and the baby. I have to get a reasonable settlement, and that's all I want it to be. Reasonable. We'll manage. We shouldn't need to just manage. Chris, this time is so precious. I want you to share the baby with me now. It's part of us now. I know. That's why I'm here. The divorce, all the rest of it, it's incidental. I just want to be with you. I don't have to bother with the party. Nonsense. I'll go with you. <clears throat> I thought Jess would be here. Yeah, she's a bit off colour. Yeah, we've been really worried, actually, haven't we, Lou? Yeah. Proper little social worker, aren't we, Tina? Actually, I'll have two. She's jealous of me. Hey? She still fancies you. <laughs> they haven't scrimped on this party, I'll give them that. This is our best sharing. Don't come cheap. <laughs> got a good bit of welly, I'll give it that. Hi. Right. Now, one of the advantages of having managers at Wolfpack is it leaves me free to attend enchanting functions like this. <laughs> I'm glad you could come. Having said that, it is about the only advantage. And Terry and Britt don't really do justice to your delightful decor, am I? <laughs> I never thought the sausage as could be as little as that. There's more mate on a mouse. <laughs> it's a good job, Betty. Fill me up with bangers and mash before we came out. Yeah, you got a good woman there, Seth. Uh, you ever know. Ladies? Are you? You decided to show your face then? We were just saying. Wouldn't it be a shame if you didn't turn up? Well, here I am. And it's good to see so many of my old friends. They're on me. No, oh. they're on the house. The one for us all, Jan. You included. All right. It's good to see you both back in circulation. Oh, thanks. How is the little lad? Fine. He's fine. Hope they throw away the key now they've got who took him. Oh, I don't know. He's obviously got problems. Maybe they'll give him treatment or something. Mm. I know what kind of treatment he needs. Stringing up Morton Market Square. Well, I don't think that'd solve anything. Well, he wouldn't do it again. And kids could go out without being in fear. I'm surprised you've got any sympathy for him. We're just glad to have him back. We want to get back to normal and put it all behind us. Of course you do. To the Sugdens. Happy ever after. Oh, thanks, Jan. Happy Cheers. Ever after. Cheers. Cheers. All the Cheers. best. We get free drinks if we went to do. He's always asked us. Yeah, I know. But it's nice here, just the two of us. It's like it used to be. So you've got over this dinner time then? Oh, I'm fine. Uh, you threw a right wobbler. Yeah, well, I had good reason. If anyone see now, Tina. Why is she late for choir practice? You shut your gob. She's not here. Come on. Don't you dare laugh. <laughs> You're not regretting it now. It's going really well. Fantastic party. <laughs> so we nearly cancelled. Why? We weren't much of a party animal, were you? I was dreading the prospect of you doing the twist. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's so friendly. Yeah, lucky you didn't have to work out a seating plan. <laughs> <clears throat> Just a small token. You shouldn't have. Thank you. To uh, Emma and Zoe. I hadn't realised you were a couple till I arrived. It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Very lovely couple, wouldn't you say, Frank? You shouldn't have Mr. Pollard. Oh, please, um, call me Eric. Everybody else does. Hey, Frank. 
Right, I'll nip over to the wall pack. See if it's way Biff and Jessica to come over. Make her feel included. Jessica doesn't realise how lucky she is to have a brother like you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a close thing. I don't know why people have to keep falling out. Why can't they get on together? Well, it can't all be as nice as what you are, Betty Wolf. Hello, Alan. How are you? So it's true, then. Still tippling, I see. Yes. Yes, I do enjoy a drink. Yes. <laughs> of course you do. But it's under control, like all my affairs. You're probably not aware of it, but well, the Woolpack's a great success now. Good. <laughs> Good. No thanks to you. It's ironic, isn't it, Eric? You try to run me out of this village. Rubbish. But I'm still here, thanks to some very good friends. It was you who had to slink away. Hardly slink, old boy. Anyway, I'm back now. I'm back. I hope we don't be feeling with wiring again, is it? Birthday to you. Whose birthday is it? My little girl. I didn't know about this. If I'd mentioned it, you'd have run a mile. Happy birthday to you. Yeah! We should have burnt his old stone. Oh, it's a damn daft. Oh, no, you better leg it. Oh, no. I'm not going through all that again. I told you. My princess. Hey, you little trump! Get in that van! Get knotted! Now, get in that van, lady. You're coming home! Make me! Just leave her alone. Shut it, Sonny! Dad! She doesn't have to Get go. Tina, you don't have to go. I said shut Leave it. Leave me alone. You've let me down, you have. You've let her bend down. No. Right. Dad! <laughs> you do that for? Leave me alone, Tommy! Dad, don't! Leave him! Get out! Baby, you're going to be a granddad. <laughs>